Hey everybody, Jason Wright with another episode of ThreatWise TV, and today we're talking about one of my favorite technologies. It's always been AMP for endpoints, a great technology that came over with the SourceFire acquisition a long, long time ago. We've continued to make improvements and enhancements to this technology, and we've got a whopper of one for you today. Here to talk about that with us is Brian McMahon, my friend. It's a technical marketing engineer, I believe. That's right. Me. Still uh, out there running our threat wall for us at a lot of shows, I know. You bet. Outstanding. Well, what have we got today? Tell us about what is Orbital and what is it doing and how is it improving AMP for endpoints? So we've got the Orbital Advanced Search Capability that we built into AMP for endpoints now that is built on OS Query, an open source tool that basically lets you treat a whole endpoint as if it were a database. Okay. Right, so you can do SQL queries against anything in that endpoint remotely. So you're talking like the profile and the settings and the what what is that endpoint doing? Exactly. How's it configured? Settings, network connections, processes, modules that are loaded, network shares that are mounted, okay. registry keys that are set, uh, users that exist on disk, files sitting around, basically anything about that operating system that you might want is treated as if it were a piece of a SQL database. So this is a, a seems like a much deeper level of analysis of an endpoint than what we used to do when I used to talk about this product all the time, which was what files are running, what operating system is running, a quick snapshot of the device, but it was mostly about what files are running and what set So now we're looking at what settings we have within each endpoint. Exactly. So this is like the file and device trajectory in AMP for endpoints, which people have used for years. Yes. Uh, this is that concept on steroids. Just taking it to a whole new level, additional metadata and yeah. aspects that we're tracking. And the stuff we've added, I think it'll blow you away. All right. Well, blow me away. Let's see it. That's right. So we're looking at uh, a system here, and then you've got the orbital query thing, because we've got the connector installed that supports that, mm -hmm. and that brings us to this page here. Now, this may look an awful lot like what we built for like Cisco Threat Response, right? So mm -hmm. this is actually, uh, it's starting off just with AMP for endpoints, but it's a whole platform that we're creating around this. So in the future, we could look to see other Cisco security technologies contributing and, and leveraging this platform. Exactly. So you could do a live query. You could select your endpoints by GUID. You could, uh, if you're a SQL whiz, right, which you are, right? Oh, sure. Um, yeah. Uh, you could just enter the stuff here from the keyboard, and that's fantastic. But you might say, wait a minute. Uh, to be fair, maybe back in my day, but I'm yeah. a little more remedial these days. And that was something I always loved about and for endpoints is it did a great job of explaining what it was seeing if you weren't an IR consummate professional. And so I think, do we have some of that here? As you well? bet. So Perfect. we've got this whole catalog of pre-built queries here that we gave you. Uh, and it is categorized, so there are various categories of behavior, right? Maybe I want to do some uh, proactive threat hunting. Or, uh, you know, we've also mapped this to the MITRE attack framework. Okay. Right? So I'm going to say, well, you know, I'm looking for stuff that addresses uh, persistence, stuff that the bad guys do to keep their foothold once they get into the organization. So there's a whole profile of, of query that you have set to, well, actually, a query that you've set that will look for that profile. Exactly. And, and just, you know, one example here, uh, a lot of malware in order to sort of protect itself uh, once it gets in, we'll do things like disable the Windows firewall. So of course we have a query for that pre-built. And here's what that looks like uh, in in Orbital. So as you can see, it's it, it's a SQL query, right? Yeah. It's a select. We've got a couple of fields that we're gonna pull out. We want the registry key, we want the path, we want uh, the, the time that we're taking this and all, and it's coming from the registry, and then we, we've got some parameters, and specifically we're looking for cases where uh, the enable firewall registry key is not set to one, right. which means that either a careless user or a malicious piece of software has turned off that firewall for its own purposes. Gotcha. And then we can find all the systems in our organization, or just a subset, uh, where that's the case. Fantastic. So what would be a, another example of, of what we might go looking for is some very basic security vulnerability that that uh, that we could see from, from this, these queries? Uh, so uh, let, let's say I want to do a free form search and I'm, I, I want to know uh, if uh, I've got funky things going on in my local hosts file. Okay. Right, so I, I just typed in local and I found the, lo the hosts file monitoring pre-built query. And here we're looking for things in our local hosts file that are not actually uh, part of the networks that we expect. Work at you. 
Gotcha. Okay, so this is a this is great, and I see the the detailed explanation there at the top. Uh, then the more detailed oriented syntax at the bottom. If again, if you want to be consummate professional, you can maybe rattle that off off the top of your head. But if you want to make it easier, we've got buttons and and options and pre-configured menus to use to help select this stuff. And of course, you can cut and paste the stuff, right? I mean, you can use our pre-built queries as a starting point for your own. You say, yeah, that's nice, Cisco, but I want to do this other thing too. Well, you just yeah. take what we did and build from that. You can save your own searches, no problem. Absolutely. And you can do this not just at real time, which is what a live query would be, but also you can save a forensic snapshot for context. And here's what that looks like. Okay. So I've got an endpoint that I care about, and I do the, uh, I've, I've taken a snapshot, and here's what I get. Uh, so this is, again, a pre-built set of queries that we fire off automatically. We run against this endpoint, which would be maybe something would be one of my first steps in an incident response playbook. Mm -hmm. I have discovered uh, something bad's going on with this system. I want to immediately preserve the forensic context for my investigation. So even if it changes later, I've got the situation as it is right now. And again, you've got you know, auto exec, you've got ports open, you've got... Uh, drives mapped, uh, what file shares are open, what users are logged in, uh, and this is then preserved. So I can go back and use this as part of my running investigation. Right, fantastic. So this is uh, something that we've built in to AMP for endpoints here. Uh, this is another example of how we continue to develop and increase, improve the functionality of an already great technology. And it seems to me like, like we're doing a great job of moving into a platform-oriented approach that allows us to interoperate with our other security technologies. Today, this is AMP for endpoint. In the future, who knows what else we can tie this in with. So those are fantastic points. Yeah, I mean, if you think about the way security operations team actually uses this stuff in the real world, right? It's all about the workflow. In their world, everything is connected to everything else because they've got a job to do. They've got questions to answer. So, they, so they've usually got to go to multiple places to answer those. But the more we can sort of pull the information into wherever they are, right, the more powerful they will be and the more effective use they will make of their own time. Absolutely. So I've seen a, a few different things here. Number one, being able to hunt threats that we know that we're looking for and then pivot off of those into other directions to look for, for places we may not have known that it would be. Um, also, to be able to just profile your, your entire endpoint consortium or your whole everybody that's on your network and say, I want to either enforce uh, a certain policy or setting or make sure that it's there or be aware if it's not. And then uh, finally, you mentioned a couple of times the proactive ability to go through and say, oh, well, even if I, I know something about a vulnerability or I, I just don't want a certain uh, uh, vulnerability open in my endpoints. Let's see if anybody has it out there. We can go through and see if we're exposed to any of those. Exactly. Or, you know, the boss walked in and asked you a question, said, are we vulnerable to this? Well, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I can build a quick little query and find out. We'll find out in, in, in five yeah. seconds. And then you look like a rock star. Fantastic. Well, that's what we like to make our customers look like. Right. Speaking of, thanks for being a rock star and helping out with this and coming by and showing us. It was always a pleasure to have you on the show, Brian. Likewise. All right, so if you'd like to learn a little bit more about Orbital and the functionality behind this technology, go to cisco.com slash go slash Orbital, whole host of information that you can dive into there. For now, I've been Jason Wright with ThreatWise TV. Thanks for tuning in. All right, excellent.